People ask me, what is on-demand integration? Well, picture this. Your service-oriented architecture is coming together. You're finally delivering your services on demand and your software as a service. We're talking about Web 2.0. No software to install, self-service, just sign up, log in and get started. You've got users enjoying your Ajax interfaces and third-party applications using your web service APIs. And then, your sales guy says, we have this great new customer. He loves what you've done with the whole services thing, wants to start using it immediately. He just needs to hook up his order management system with the shipping service. No problem, you say. Just point him at the web service description. Well, his IT guy, Bob, he's not too sure about this web services stuff. He's just getting started with XML. And that's when it happens. Your on-demand strategy starts to unravel. In place of the promise of zero software, your customer is now facing the prospect of an integration project. Maybe they need a web services stack or an ESP. They might even need an SOA. This is a strategic decision. It's going all the way to the top. Decisions like this just can't be rushed. And Bob has heard he might even need governance as well. This software as a service idea, it's all well and good, but we'll have to get back to you on this one. Now you realize your integration needs to be on demand too. So tell me again, what can that order management system do? Well, it exports spreadsheets. Hey Bob, can you get it to FTP those spreadsheets to our server? No problem. Okay, you're in business again. You just need to validate the contents of the file and convert it to a request to your shipping service. You'll need some additional security, auditing, and some reporting to allow Bob to monitor the exchanges himself. After all, once it's up and running, you'll need to provide the same user experience for this part of your service as you already do for the rest. With SOA, we set out to solve integration problems by creating services that were easy to reuse, had intuitive interfaces, and used universally supported web services technology. Now we're taking that one step further. With on-demand integration, it's all about the customer. What can they do now? What message formats do they use? What transports can they support? What security mechanisms are they capable of using? You take all of that into account and you customize your service to meet their needs. Cape Clear software makes it simple and economic for you to solve the integration problem on behalf of your customer. You can host the integration for them or deliver it as a solution to be run on their site. In the time it's taken you to watch this video, I've created the formal description of Bob's spreadsheet necessary to validate its contents and convert it to XML. I've also created the transform to convert that XML into a request to the shipping service. The new functionality is ready to be deployed to the Cape Clear ESP, which will now pick up spreadsheets as they arrive, transform them and route them on. Now that's on-demand integration. To recreate the steps shown here, download an evaluation copy of the software and review the supply chain management sample. On-demand integration, it's part of the service. I'm James Pasley, the CTO for Cape Clear Software and thank you for listening.